Hi everyone, I'm back with more Dice Stars, but solo this time. And if uh, the, the rules are exactly the same, so if you would like to know how Dice Stars works in general, then there's the, the two-player video for that. You fill in the grid exactly the same for the solo version, but at the end of your turn, you cross off a certain number of these spaces, and you need to fill your main grid of white spaces before this grid here is filled. So how does that work? Well, we do the normal thing of drawing dice, rolling them, take a colour, number, or stars. Then we look at what's left. So say I took the fours and there was just that left at the end. If there's only stars left in the reserve, you have to cross off one square. No matter how many stars there are, just one square. If there's nothing in the reserve and you manage to take all the dice, you don't cross any off. But it means you're going to have to roll three more dice. Say I took the star and there were numbers left, I would add those up and for every group or partial group of five points, so if it was just one four I would cross off one box, but two fours I have got a group of five and a partial group of five with eight there, so I would cross off two spaces. If though there was numbers and a star, no matter how many stars, the numbers are doubled, so there would now be 16, which means I would have to cross off four spaces on the grid. And if the grid fills before I'm finished, game over. So let's get started. And so in the solo game, you really don't want to draw as many dice as you would in the uh, multiplayer game. So I have to draw three because there are none in the reserve. And this means that something is going to have to be left in the middle. So I am going to take the six. I'm going to take it for the color orange so I can put it all the way up here and hopefully I can double that with the stars later. So what's left in the reserve? We've got two doubled because there's a star. So it's less than five. So we just cross off one space on the, uh, the board there. Now, how many do I want to draw? I think we're just going to draw two because I'm a bit scared. So now, again, something's going to be crossed off whenever I leave. If I take the stars, there's going to be two spaces crossed off because there's eight. If I just take one of the numbers, that number's going to be doubled, so that would be three spaces. That would still be one space, so it wouldn't be as bad. I think I'm going to take... Oh, I'm going to take this six, but for the number this time. So it has to go down here. And what have we got left? Two times two is four, which is less than five, so one more square again on here. I think I'm gonna just draw two again. Oh, this is quite nice. So I can take, I can take these for the number, two, and just go cross, cross, six. So it's not quite nice because this is an easy row to double and I have just scored zero for two of the spaces in it. So if there's only stars, you have to cross one off. So we're doing, we're doing quite well. We're crossing those off quite slowly. I'm gonna draw three this time. Let's see what we can do. Might not have been a good idea. Oh, I don't know what happened there, I'm sorry. The dice flicked away, so numbers might have changed. Don't take this as gospel. I'm just gonna take a, oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a six. And let's, yeah, let's put it down there as the number. So five times two is 10. So that's two squares that need to be crossed off. I'm just gonna draw one this time. I have to draw one, so that's a four. So I just take the four, two more spaces across stuff. If I take the stars, two more spaces across stuff. So really, I might as well just take the four and write that over here. I think I'm gonna draw two now. Oh, the stars, that's two more spaces, isn't it? I think I am going to take the, let's see, leaving 16 there, because it's gonna be eight doubled if I take the blues. So that would be four spaces crossed off. If I took the purples, there would be Eight, nine, eighteen. So that would still be four spaces. Let's take the blues. So X, six. And that's one, two, three, four spaces. Not good, because you want to fill this up as quickly as you can. There's nothing left in the bag. So 
I assume there's nothing in the solar variant that says this changes. I assume I can take everything from the reserve. The downside of this, I suppose, is that you have to draw three then. So I think I'm going to leave those. I'm just going to draw one. So I might take the purple. Oh, yes, I'm definitely going to take purples. So that's three spaces, although I only score five from those three spaces. Or should I take stars? I don't know. Anyway, I've done it. I'm kind of thinking, let's fill it up as quickly as we can, but he's got so many crosses now. I think he's, I think it's five points he gets for every cross that he's got on there. I'm just going to roll two. And that's not good. I am going to take the sixes. So X, 12. Three times two left, which means two more spaces get crossed off. I'm just going to draw... I'm going to draw two. So if I leave them there, two spaces are going to get crossed off. If I take, say, the orange, that's still two spaces going to get crossed off. I'm going to take the stars and let's put them down here. And at least we've doubled that line at the bottom. We've made 12 points. But there's nine, which means two more spaces need to get crossed off. I'm going to draw two dice. Oh, no. So I can take the fives. That would mean that two spaces got crossed off if I took the... Yeah, I'm going to take the oranges. So that would be 11. So X, 11. And two more spaces get crossed off because we've got a total of eight there. Let's roll... Let's just roll the one. Oh, no. None of that works. So I can't take just a six anymore. Yeah, let's just take... Let's take this as, a, as an orange. So all right, six there. Then that's two more spaces. I do not feel like this has gone well. I've made I've made some blunders earlier on. I'm going to roll two again. I should probably be rolling one at a time. There we go. I'm going to take these threes now. So cross, cross, three. And then cross one space off because there's five left in the reserve. There's nothing there. And I think I'm going to leave that in the middle. And I'm just trying to get these in the bag. I'm going to leave that in the middle, and I'm just going to draw one from the bag. If I can roll another five, that would be great. It's a star and a five. Let's see, I'm going to take the five. That goes over there. And just write five there. And I'm just going to draw one again. I need a five or a blue, and it's an orange, unfortunately. So there's two stars. If... I'm not sure if I crossed a, star, a box off there. I don't think I did. Although maybe I've made this harder for myself. I, I think I should have crossed a box off there. So, what do you take? You either, you have to take them as the stars. If you can take something, you have to take them. So, I am just going to go on, let's go on this row here. Hopefully we can get two more stars. Although the game is almost over. I've just lost a row. Nothing gets crossed off because there's nothing in the middle, but I have to draw three. So I could take this as a five or this is a blue to end the game. But now I don't really want the game to be over. But what, what else can I take? I've got no choice. Yep, it's over. I'm going to have to take this as a five. Which means there's a six left. So two more spaces. And let's work out the total. And there we go. The dummy player scored 125. Five points for each cross in the box. And I only managed a measly 72. Though if I hadn't had to take those two stars, or maybe I'd got two more stars, I would have had 42 more points, which still wouldn't have won me the game, but it would have been a much more respectable score. So I got a bit unlucky there, but that is Dice Stars Solo. It's, uh, it's very quick. It's a lot harder than the standard game. But I hope that gives you a good idea of just another way to play Dice Stars. And there is another way as well, which I won't do a video for right now, but... My copy did come with these uh, promos where there's planets with uh, powers and things. I'm not sure how it works yet, but there is, you know, there's a little bit more to the game there. So if you'd like to know uh, what I think, then you can click the link on the screen. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye.